Ooh, Gemini singles, welcome. Or good evening, I should say. This is your December singles read. Switch it up a little bit. Instead of doing the um, meet the soulmate, we're doing the tarot story time. So I'm going to try to tell a story using the Gilded Tarot Royale about your um, love life as a single um, and a potential love life, I guess I would say. Um, I'm going to use... Um, uh, here I'm going to use the same spread uh, to do it uh, that I typically use for the singles uh, reading. I'm going to shift it uh, less of a lecture and less of a kind of looking for what exactly your soulmate is, the kind of a process uh, of uh, what you're going through to get there, to get from single to um, whatever it is you want, whether it's dating or a full-time uh, relationship or commitment. Um, three of Wands. This is going to be in the emotional area. The Eight of Cups. Okay, that is emotional. I'll get down here where you can mostly see. I hope. Intellectual. Nine of Swords. Wow. The Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is looking into the reading. I'm going to go ahead and lay out everything for this reading. Um, Seven of Swords energy. This is in the sexual and love nature. Here. The Fool card, the Fool, under the Seven of Swords. Hmm, that's uh, quite a story you're telling. <laughs> Gemini's um, Seven of Cups. This is in the core values and lifestyle aspect here. Uh, for December, Eight of Swords. Oh, your story time, story of uh, your love. And search for love. I might need to do um, a uh, clarification. We'll see. Um, might not. <clears throat> As I see what we got here. You know, um, it's really not going well. And, you know, I was, I was saying, that, and do check out the uh, this reading. I have the Soul Family Read, which is a daily collective read every day for whoever resonates, not by sign, but it's more about spirituality and manifestation. Um, you know, and I was saying, like, sometimes with Darrow, you know, it, you don't get the reading that you want, and we really have to look at it as we're reading kind of a soul's uh, uh, adventure here, um, because it, this, so far, I don't see a happy ending. Um, I don't, I see you're really looking for love. Um, Let's see, um, with the Three of Wands over the Eight of Cups, um, you could have found yourself uh, for quite some time now looking, say uh, you're walking along by yourself, most likely you, you might even be with someone. Maybe you're with someone, but you're not really in love with them, you know? Mm, you know? Or you're with them, but you're not really in love with them. And so that's kind of the energy of this. It's like you've been in these relationships, but you have to kind of wonder, have you ever really been in love? You know? And that's the story. It's kind of like a search for love, but it's kind of, it's an emotional search. It's kind of a search within, really. You know, I think if you stop for a second, think about it. Um, this search is really not about them. Like they're just a prop. The, whoever the other is that you're, that you're interested in. You know, and this, the Nine of Swords here with the Eight of Cups, this is emotional. Now we're looking at the intellectual. Um, you know, I see you doing a lot of walking away. Like you've really tried to walk away, like emotionally what doesn't serve you, what you feel like is not connecting with you. Um, and that could be a strong theme uh, for you, Gemini. But with the Nine of Swords, it's like you can't find, you know, it's coming next to the Three of Wands. So this search is not bearing, you know, fruit for you. Um, and it's got you up at night worrying about it, you know. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, and this is probably like some kind of a pattern. And here you go again with the Page of Cups next to the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're kind of doing the right thing. Like you're not letting it get to you. 
and you're leaving behind the, you say the cups like bad experiences and the bad emotional experiences I think you've emotionally had a hard time in relationships um, so <clears throat> this cup this page is, is looking into the reading in fact looking right at the fool well, there's a combination for you I mean that's I like it though um, and it shows me that you're someone you, you've suffered a lot um, you've emotionally had trouble connecting you've really tried I mean I think it, I'm speaking to a Gemini here who's really if you would probably go yeah yeah I've really tried you really made the effort um, to love and to have relationship and find the right one and when you when it wasn't right you did walk away and you do walk away so I think you say that's a good habit um, in this position here of love and romance it's just really showing, I think, now we're moving along. It's kind of where you are now. <clears throat> or this even could be the recent past, too. Um, and, you know, Seven of Swords. So that's not you lying, cheating, stealing. Um, well, if it is, you'd know. But if it's you, then it's running away from intimacy. Um, but it is, in thoughts and communication, not able to get purchase, not able to get intimacy. This is the cups you keep... You're trying with this page. You're going towards the fool. I mean, this is kind of like you're willing to do anything, you know. And going with the uh, page of cups, it's uh, you. You've had a rough time of it. It's hard to just get that out of your head. You can't help thinking about what happened to you. And you remember, he's he's looking back always. The pages, the seven of swords. He's looking back. Um, it's trying to control things. Trying to uh, outthink things. Trying to. Uh, think ahead of things, you know, um, and but there's like this counter current to it. And I think this is right now or in the very near past where you just let go of this energy and just sort of go for it. But unfortunately, that leads to the Seven of Cups over the Eight of Swords. And this is just not telling the story of a Gemini uh, successful in, in love here and your love search. Um, emotionally now uh, coming seven of cups and seven of swords um, <clears throat> and and then the, the seven of cups is uh, uh, over the eight of swords you know you're you've I think uh, the impact of the negative experiences that you've had you're trying really hard to walk away from them maybe too hard emotionally maybe you just haven't really dealt with maybe from many relationships back, sort of the emotional trauma, whatever was involved, it was probably lying, lying cheating, and stealing on someone's part. Um, and it's like you're trying to be like this emotional trooper. You definitely are not being bitter. This is awesome. Um, you're wanting to take a chance, um, but you're just, this is like being emotionally confused. It could be emotional turmoil. And emotional, you know, uh, leads to mental, and mental leads to uh, emotional. And, you know, seven of cups over the eight of uh, swords and, and uh, next to the seven of swords, um, that's the stuff from the past and the overthinking, trying to control things. And it's just trying to get, because you don't want to get screwed again. So you're trying to really, you know, you're thinking about everything. Ah, now, when they said that, I wonder if that meant such and such, and could that mean so and so? and Maybe, you know, it's got to just get you going, um, you know, keeping you up late at nights, you know, either both of these, <laughs> you know, and it's just something like you've been going through this pattern for a while. I haven't said this very often. I'm like, well, well over 800 reads, you know, get get a, a astrology reading, do the most good, Jim and I. I really feel like, um, you know, anyone's a competent astrologer, I could help you. I think it'd be more beneficial than tarot. Um, because <clears throat> you're looking at patterns here, and I'm looking at the future here, uh, where you just uh, really, I think until you deal uh, emotionally with this, and I don't, I don't even can pretend to tell you how to do that, um, it may involve a therapist, it may involve just really opening up to it, and it's going to involve feeling your feelings, that's what it is. You see with these thoughts, the seven of swords, the eight, nine of swords, the eight of swords, it's and you know in the eight of cups here and even the three of wands it's all the energy of moving moving on moving away and i think you need to sit even the page of cups now is moving into the reading even the fool is you know it's a avoidance and moving away and you got to deal 
with these feelings, okay? Before you can move on into a relationship, it's just how it works. It's not my deal. <laughs> I don't make the rules, guys. I just notice them, you know, <clears throat> here. So let me know what you think of this. If you find it helpful at all, guys, and uh, share. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Do subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you, guys.